Hmm. Yep. Hello, everybody. That's right. It is, of course, a great and glorious scene to be famous one day. Nick Dutch back on the camera again one more time. Sitting down, chilling out, waiting for calls. Still at my work. Last night, I had one of those OMFG moments. I mean, I thought, oh, Craig. You know, I, I signed up for this free trial of Netflix. Cause I thought, what the hell, it's free, I can cancel it if I want. And in the meantime, maybe I'll get some entertainment between taking a few calls. And I saw a few cool things, you know, some back episodes of Dexter and other cool stuff. But I also, we've been looking at random for what other kind of stuff they've got. And that included a documentary about UFOs. Now what is it about the subject of UFOs that means that you can actually apply the word documentary to it? Whopping great, what, hour and a half duration thing? Uh, with all kinds of allegedly important people being interviewed and a lot of the whole documentary was snippets of footage taken from one particular conference in which there were people talking in a very convincing manner about the quality of experiences that they had. But the whole thing was written from a premise. And the premise upset me, okay, because it wasn't a premise that was based upon thinking. It was a premise based upon a belief. And the belief was essentially that UFOs do actually exist, there's something strange going on, there's some kind of government cover-up, despite the fact the government says they're not covering it up. Oh, crikey. And, you know, that was just plain wrong. And, like, the other premise that went through the whole thing was, because there are people who believe it, therefore it's true. Come off it. I mean, there are people who take the flying spaghetti monster too seriously. Okay? And believe that it's true. There are people who think they're having conversations with grey aliens and that the grey aliens have objective reality. And they're in their bedroom every night or something similar. It's not a well thought out premise. And like, the internet is just full of this stuff right now. If only I could do something to change the culture of the UFO lot as well, okay? Do you think I can? Probably not. All I can do is say they've had a strange experience. But essentially, that would be a, most, a more appropriate premise, okay? Strange experiences exist. But whether the strange experience was uh, something normal, which they've interpreted as being something strange when it isn't, or whether the strange in experience is something which is truly strange, is another issue. And that depends upon the nature of the experience. So, going into some kind of like deep, almost spiritual path about UFOs is crazy. And no, believing in something does not make a spirituality, okay? There's no, like, personal change and transformation associated with just having a belief that something out there exists. I think you've got to get that straight into your head, too. 